Hey there, I'm trying to get a diagnosis on my Mercruiser LX 3.0 1995. I'm in a 1995 Crown Line 17.6 BR. The things that I've done so far is I've rebuilt the carburetor, put all new seals, new floats, new needles in, changed all the fluids, put new gas in, changed all the spark plugs, put a new starter in, bought a new battery. I've also checked the timing, and the timing seems like it's correct. I'm not sure if this is exactly a timing issue. Everything's hooked up right. I did get it started. This engine has been sitting for two years. I got it started for about 30 seconds about a week ago, and now I cannot start it whatsoever. So I'm just trying to get a quick diagnosis on it. Whenever I start the key, turn the key, turn the ignition, we can crank, we start to crank, start to get pistons cranking down. But whenever I release the key, it stops cranking for some reason, and I'm not exactly sure. And I'm trying to just diagnose this problem. So I'll try and run it and crank it for you, see if you guys hear anything, see anything that may be distant. I've also replaced the fuel filter on the unit and I've also replaced the uh, water fuel separator as well. Get you down here, I'll take a quick video. Right, I also have the throttle forward to pump a little bit more fuel into the carburetor while we're starting. Since it hasn't been started in a while, here we go. <laughs> No start. When I release the key, you can hear it that just shuts off, but it sounds like we're getting spark at the pistons. The starter wasn't rolling it over that fast last time, so I'm assuming we're getting a spark. Um, if you have any diagnosis to this problem, please let me know. Thank you very much.